Hello everyone! Today I wanted to talk about control of fungus gnats. Now fungus gnats are those little flying insects that you'll see come up off the surface of your pots when you water them or spray them. And the, there are several controls that you can use like the sticky traps, some insecticides you can spray on but they don't really work because the little flies just they fly up when you try to spray. The sticky traps work good um, work well, excuse me, pretty well, but they're messy and, you know, if you accidentally touch them, they get on you. The little plants are good, the butterworts and other carnivorous plants, I think, are really good at controlling the adults, but for the quickest and easiest way to get rid of them, I think, well, I think personally, is to have both, like a sticky trap of some sort, preferably the plants, and then also controlling their larvae. Now the little adults fly around and they find a moist area and they lay their eggs in there and when they hatch you get little worms, worm-like creatures that are about one to two millimeters long. They're clear and they've got a little dark spot on their head. They're really hard to find. I've only ever seen maybe two in my entire life but I knew they were in there because I could see the, the adults flying around. So the safest, most effective thing I've ever found is this product. It's made for controlling mosquitoes. This particular brand is called Mosquito Dunks, and I'm sorry I don't have a new one to show you, but they come in these packages like this. Oh my goodness, this is falling out all over the place. Um, they, uh, and they're in these little discs that are compressed together. Now, the, uh, the discs you can put in water, like if you were going to try to control um, mosquitoes and you had like a horse trough, right? Mosquitoes will lay their eggs in a horse trough. You could actually put that in the horse trough for up to 30 days and that will provide continuous control. So this is a bacteria. It's called Bacillus thuringiensis israelinensis, or BT for short. And it is safe to ingest, apparently. I don't know. That's also what they put in our, in our corn, um, the GM corn. But so the, uh, the little larvae ingest this, and it stops them from eating and kills them. And these are really useful because um, it's, it's pretty safe. I mean, if my dog takes a drink out of my drainage trays, I'm not going to panic about it. You know, it's not like I'm using some poisonous some poisonous nasty chemicals. Um, so I would water with these. Wait, let me rewind. How you make this, how you use this, is I always break off a piece, about a quarter of a piece, and I will set it, if I'm hand watering, stop it, stop, <laughs> go lay down. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, that's my dog. Okay, where was I? Oh, right, how to use it. So what I do, since I'm using a reservoir, is I will take a coffee filter, like this, and I'll put the dunk in, and I'll wrap up the coffee filter around it. I'm not actually doing it because I don't want to touch that last piece that I have. Then I would take my wrapped up coffee filter, and I'd put it in a t-ball strainer. And I'll explain why I'm doing this later. You don't have to do this. Most people probably don't have to do this. So then I um, latch that, and if you don't get a really good seal around the edges, you can take one of those paper clips, the, um, this kind, and that will hold it really well. This is in fact what I've got downstairs in my reservoir, and the only reason um, I do this is because of how my watering system is. It's connected to a, a hand sprayer and these little chunks, these little chunkies, will dissolve in, will kind of, not dissolve, but fall apart in my reservoir and it'll plug up the, the spray nozzles on my, on my sprayer. But if you're just hand watering, <clears throat> what you're gonna do is break off a piece Drop it in your water that you're going to use the next day or the next day. It's got to, I would say it should soak for at least 24 hours. 
If you're using tap water that has been chlorinated, you want to, this is the most important because you're working with a bacteria here. If you have chlorinated tap water, you want to let that tap water sit out for 24 hours before you put this in. Um, you could also, okay, so if you've got a small, if you've got a small setup, you can just put that in, like say a milk gallon. Drop it in a gallon jug, full of course. So let this sit out for 24 hours. After that, drop your little chunky in. Let that sit for 24 hours. Shake it up, and the next day you water your plants with that. And I would do this every time you're going to water for probably three weeks or until... After you don't see any more little flying guys, water at least once more because I guarantee there's at least one pregnant female flying around your space and you want to make sure that you get all of them. But this alone, without any sticky traps or any sprays or any of that, will usually get rid of the fungus gnats within, if I catch them fast, within about a week. Um, sometimes it can take about two weeks, but it's really fast and they don't get into high numbers. Also, if you're growing in a house and you use humidity trays, or in a greenhouse even, if you use humidity trays or if you have any standing pools of water or if you have drainage trays underneath your shelves that, stay, that have a little bit of water in them kind of continuously, you want to use this because, well, one time, I don't know, this is so kind of gross and embarrassing, but in my, I want to share these things with everybody so that you can learn. In my drainage trays one day, I was looking down and I noticed these little wriggly things swimming around in my water. And when I got down closer and I looked at them, I realized they were mosquito larvae. There was, this is in a basement now where I grow all my orchids. One pregnant mosquito had made her way into my house, down the stairs, into my room, and into my growing room, found my drainage trays, and laid eggs. There's this quote from Jurassic Park, life finds a way, it does. <laughs> no matter how clean your area is, I guarantee you'll get fungus gnats at least some point in your experience. Also, when you bring home new plants, especially plants planted in dirt from garden centers, the first thing you want to do is water with this stuff because there's probably eggs, lots of times there's... Um, eggs and all kinds of like potting soils, dirt from outside, they can fit through the screens. They're so tiny they can fit through your screens, your window screens. So this has been the best, safest, most reliable thing that I've ever found. I'm so surprised that not many more that not more people talk about this and most people use the sticky traps, which if you want to get rid of them fast, use both because you'll catch the adults and and this stuff. Also, I just had a new idea real quick. Cornmeal is yellow and it gets moldy fast. So if you cooked up some cornmeal, let it cool and then added some water with this, like really concentrated or kind of your leftovers of this, mixed it into the cornmeal, all the adults would congregate on that because it starts to mold within a couple of days. So they'd find the fungus, want to eat it, and it's yellow so they'd be really attracted to it and they'd lay the majority of their eggs in there instead of in your pots. And since your cornmeal I haven't tried this out, so I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure it would work. I don't see why the cornmeal would negatively affect the bacteria. So, actually, I might try that and do a video on it. But until then, if I do or don't, the mosquito dunks. Um, this also comes in a pelleted form. <clears throat> Excuse me. Comes in a pelleted form, in, but I live in a small town, so this is the only thing that's available. I can get it at hardware stores, home improvement, superstores. Um, I think it's about eight bucks, but these little bits last forever. Like if you're going to use this, so you've got to use it once a week, like this, once you're done watering, you can take it out, save it, and dry it, or you can just put more water in there again, and it'll last, you can use it over and over and over again. Um, if it's in water continuously, like it is in my reservoir, then every 30 days I just drop a new one in there. I make this little ball and I drop it in there every 30 days and that will generally take care of it. Okay, I hope everybody has a good 
day. I hope this was helpful and informative. I'm sorry there's not much to look at. If you like this video, please subscribe or thumbs up, and I hope to see you next time.